record but also no passing the message like I said before and yeah we got to it down that's it it's not just gold African record. Who is it starting? Who is jumping? <laughs> <laughs> um, breaking the African record again here is um, one of our mandates for the year, not just our individual races, but as a team, having an African record as a team is a fantastic stuff for us. And we brought it just how many weeks ago and we, we did it again, so all thanks to God. Grace, what, what, what sort of race did you, did you have out there? Oh, you know, I have to do that for the goal. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Grace, are you consoled? I know that the African Championships, you really felt bad that we didn't win a medal. So taking gold here with the African record, how special is that for you? It's so special for me because the world, I was like, what? Huh? You didn't get a medal? Yeah, I felt so bad. But coming out here, I need to put myself together and make sure we execute properly and get the African record and also the gold. And that's what we must do for so Toby, you ran your race today, 100 meters hurdles, one goal, you won your second goal of the competition. What did you tell yourself, like, okay, I can really make an impact here, like, how did you motivate yourself to be part of the team and then achieve this great success here? Yeah, I was sleeping on this one, this one, like, it's great. <laughs> um, yeah, um, I didn't know I was going to run on the, on the relay, so it was a last minute thing, but I had to come through for the team, and, you know, the goal was to just get a batten across to um, Philly, and I did just gotta, the rest is history. So you girls have been running together for some time now, you know, for some weeks and months. How important is that teamwork, friendship? You seem to be getting along very well, you know. How important is that to a successful relay team? For me, you know, we have to work together as a team. We get work done. We do our best. Yeah, we have to be close to each other, get to understand each other. And I think that helps us to work together. To be safe and Yeah. Let's come to Rosemary. Rosemary. And when you got the baton, what was she saying to you when she gave Because I heard her screaming. <laughs> <laughs> she was shouting, Rosemary, no. <laughs> something, like something I did when I gave Betty to Grace. I was running with her, following her, shouting, Grace, move. This girl will get some. <laughs> <laughs> That's what she did. At the end, we got, we got the gold, so I'm happy. I'm and I want to thank God for the strength, injury, free, everything. So I'm happy that we came out to so, well, thanks to God. What sort of season has it been for you? It has been a great season to see from school. Let's say races, running the 100 meter, breaking my record, the school record, and everything. So, and injury free as well. So, it has been a great season. For favor, what's next for you? Um, go home, add some weight, and, you know, add some little weight that was in the food up, lick ice cream this night, and. <laughs> Oh, but for pizza. tonight, yeah, pizza. Tonight I have exam to finish, then I'll be done with my summer class and all that. But I need to eat pizza, lick some ice cream, add up way, you know. I'm you know, just sweating now. <laughs> Yesterday you told us Essie Brumet gave you some bad. Did you have some today? Ah, this morning I'm a tired, you know, prepare soup. Uh, done and done. Like, no, no time to waste. <laughs> I'm so grace. Competing in the NCAAs, World Championships. Commonwealth Games has been a busy season for you. How have you been able to manage your academics and competing at such top level as well? Um, uh, we just have to do it. Because we're not going backwards. Yeah. We are working forward and we're taking forward. So we have to do what we do to get everything done. Yes. 